domestic violence. Again, Ebony Phelps, age 34, a mom, two kids, shot, killed by her husband, Coy Braggs, age 36, on December 15th, 2023, in Phoenix, Arizona. This continues to happen, ladies. Protect yourselves. God bless the family. Damn. Ebony's mother, Precious Brown, claims Braggs had threatened to kill her daughter before. She says this is a case of domestic violence. Ladies, it's a new day and new time. Get trained and armed. It's crazy out here. Get trained and get armed. Damn. This is I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place because no matter what she did not, nobody has the right to take nobody's life. Nobody. God didn't get nobody the right to take, take nobody's life. minutes ago and they first arrived a little after midnight. It is an active investigation and police are not yet releasing the victim's name or age because they're still working to notify the family. Terrifying and horrific loss for the family. We want to be able to help their healing process as best as we can. Uh, one of those is giving them ample time to adjust to it as well as trying to find the person responsible. Sergeant Brian Bauer with Phoenix Police is still piecing together what happened before a woman was shot and taken to the Valley Hospital overnight. We don't know exactly who dropped her off at the hospital. Uh, we know that a call pulled up. We don't have uh, a description that we want to put out at this time. He says he can't share much right now, but tells us investigators are currently searching for a car caught on surveillance video. He says whoever was inside the car left the victim at the hospital. That footage led officers to this apartment complex near 17th Avenue in Missouri. Police say the car is linked to a specific unit, and tactical teams were able to get inside the apartment this morning. Try to call out whoever might have been in there. There was nobody in the apartment after uh, the investigation continued, but there was obvious signs of a scene inside the apartment. Detectives believe the woman was shot here, but aren't saying if this is where she lived. Police are collecting evidence, interviewing witnesses, and tracking down any video that could help fill in the gaps. A neighbor shared this video with us and police. She says it shows two people carrying the victim into a car around midnight. Those are what detectives are looking for. Uh, that's going to be able to lead to a suspect. That's going to be able to lead to a motive and overall a, uh, a guilty verdict. Police are asking anyone with any information or video about the shooting to contact them or find a witness. You can leave an anonymous tip. In Phoenix, with Hannah Marshall, for Remember, domestic violence is always, always wrong, and it's never right. Ladies, if you are threatened, if you are not happy, you're not being treated like a queen, leave! People here were holding on tight to their candles and joined in prayer and released balloons, hoping to find peace. Family says Ebony was shot and killed by her husband, 36-year-old Corey Braggs, in their apartment in Phoenix on West Missouri Avenue late Thursday night. Police say Ebony was taken to a hospital where she died. Braggs was later found in a different location. After negotiations with police, he was arrested. Ebony's mother, Precious Brown, claims Braggs had threatened to kill her daughter before. She says this is a case of domestic violence. I can't even describe the feeling. I don't know whether to cry, holler, scream, jump, yell, fight, kick. It's just I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place because no matter what, she did not. Nobody has a right to take nobody's life. Nobody. God didn't get nobody in the right to take, take nobody's life. Precious says she never imagined she would have to bury her daughter. 
Now the family is raising money to cover the cost of the funeral and to help provide for Ebony's two daughters. They're also asking for gift donations to give Ebony's daughters a joyful Christmas as possible. We have all the information on azfamily.com and Precious says that she wants justice for her daughter and she is urging anyone that may be in a domestic violence relationship to reach out for help. There is a national hotline number on the bottom of your screen. If you or someone you know may need help, please don't hesitate to call. Reporting live in Glendale, Casey. God bless Ebony Phelps, age 34, a mom of two, shot and killed by her husband, age 36. God bless the family. Damn. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please. Please subscribe.